Welcome back to Physics Junction. In today's video, I am going to teach you how to find wavelength of the given light from Newton's ring experiment. Before getting to the topic, we must familiarize about electromagnetic spectrum. You all know different colors. Different colors represents different wavelengths. This is an electromagnetic spectrum. It consists all wavelengths from longer to shorter wavelength that is from radio waves to cosmic rays. It starts from radio waves. Next to radio waves it has microwaves then infrared and this white light portion is called the visible spectrum. White represents presence of all colors. It consists only the colors sensible to our eyes. That is why it is called the visible spectrum. Visible spectrum consists colors of wavelength from 700 nanometer to 400 nanometer or in angstrom it is 7000 angstrom to 4000 angstrom. Wavelength of red color is 7000 angstrom. Wavelength of violet is 4000 angstrom. The other colors from orange to blue have the wavelengths between 7000 angstrom to 4000 angstrom. Here radio wave region is known as long wavelength or low frequency region as well the gamma rays or the cosmic rays region is known as the short wavelength region or the high frequency region since the frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength that is higher the frequency then lower the wavelength. In this table I have listed wavelengths of different colors not given exact values but it represents the range of the wavelength. For example, for violet it is 3800 angstrom, indigo it is 4500 angstrom, for red it is 7000 angstrom. Velocity of light is denoted with c, c equal to nu lambda where nu is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength. Newton's ring experiment, aim of the experiment is find the wavelength of the given light, for example green color and we have the link for the virtual lab here, just click and go. Now we are on the experimental page and you see the experimental setup. This is the traveling microscope. Here is the horizontal scale and here you are seeing the enlarged view of the scale. Then set the variables. The first thing we have to select the medium. I am going to choose air medium. So we have different options. I am going to choose air medium. Next step select light source. So see the options here. I am going to select the green light and then turn on light. Now we see the Newton's rings and then we have to adjust the lens and I am going to set here the radius of the lens as 80 cm. So then I am going to adjust this microscope focus it is to 8.5. We have another one option here that is microscope option. If the bubble is here you don't see any rings. But when you move this bubble further you start to see the rings. So now you can see the rings. To go across each ring you can adjust this option so you can move from one ring to another ring. Now let's focus on the scale. So we have two scale one is the main scale and another one is the vernier scale. The vernier scale has 50 divisions it is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So it has 50 divisions and the bottom scale that's a main scale. So here we have uh, each small division. So each small division is 0.05. For example, if you see here we have 3. So the next division is 3.05. Then it is 3.1, 3.15, then 3.2. So in main scale each small division is 0.05 cm. At the vernier scale we have 50 divisions. Therefore the least count is 0.05 divided by 50 so that is equal to 0.001 cm. So in this traveling microscope the least count is 0.001 cm. Now the crosswire is at the center of the Newton's ring and this is our nth ring and this is n plus 1th ring. I just keep the crosswire at the nth ring by adjusting this screw part, horizontal screw part. Now I am at nth ring. Then I go to the n plus 8th ring directly by adjusting the screw. If you see now I am at n plus 8th ring I just want to confirm it. So by counting the rings see here this is n, n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3, n plus 4, n plus 5, n plus 6, n plus 7 and this is n plus 8. So our crosswire is here at the edge of the n plus 8th ring. So we are going to note down the reading for this n plus 8th ring. We have to note down where the zero of vernier coincides. 
so this is 3 2.5 2.4 2.3 and this is 2.2 so this smaller line is 2.25 so our main scale reading is 2.25 and the coincidence so if you see here this line coincides that is the tenth line of the vernier coincides with the main scale line down here so i am taking my one year coincidence is 10 so the main scale leading is 2.25 and the coincidence is 10 now i'm going to skip two lines so i will fix my cross wire at n plus 6 i just keep the cross wire at n plus 6 and note down the reading so if you see here zero of vernier uh, it still at uh, 2.25 so you just check with that so we have 2.5 2.4 2.3 so it it just before 2.3 so i take my main scale as again 2.25 note on the vernier coincidence so if i see the coincidence in this region i can see some coincidence so that is 31 so i take my coincidence as 31 so main scale reading is 2.25 and the coincidence is 31 again skip two lines and fix the cross wire at n plus 4 okay just confirm it by counting the rings so n n plus 1 n plus 2 n plus 3 n plus 4 so the cross wire is at n plus 4 and note down the reading and this time this is 2.5 this is 2.4 and this line is 2.3 so 0 coincides with 2.3 so my main scale reading is 2.3 so then the coincidence is it is about here so i take my coincidence as 9 so main scale reading is 2.3 and the coincidence is 9 again skip two lines and now fix the cross wire at n plus 2 so n n plus 1 n plus 2 and the main scale reading 2.5 2.4 and 2.35 so my main scale reading is 2.35 and the coincidence is here it is 39 so the main scale reading is 2.35 and the coincidence is 39 again skip two lines and fix the cross wire at n main scale reading is 2.4 then the coincidence is it is about here so it is 35 so main scale reading is 2.4 and the coincidence is 35 now we are done with our left side part the same thing we have to repeat with right side rings now i am going to move the cross wire right side and keep the cross wire at nth ring right side now you can see the cross wire here at the right edge of the first two ring that's a nth ring and note down the reading for the nth ring and here the main scale reading is 2.55 and the coincidence is 7 skip two lines and keep the cross wire at n plus 2 now the cross wire is at n plus 2 and note down the reading main scale reading is 2.55 and the coincidence is 45 now go to n plus 4 now you are at n plus 4 and note down the reading and main scale reading is 2.6 the coincidence is 5 then move to n plus 6 the main scale reading is still it is 2.6 and the coincidence is 30 then i go to n plus 8 ring now the cross wire is at n plus 8 ring and the main scale reading is 2.65 then the coincidence is 4 we have completed our experimental part we just started from n plus 8 ring of left side and then we finished at n plus 8 ring of right side here I just tabulated all the readings, microscope readings, both left and right side readings. We have the rings from N to N plus 8 and this is the main scale reading and this is a vernier scale coincidence. So the main scale reading is 2.4, coincidence is 35. So to get the vernier scale reading, we have to multiply this 35 with the least count, 0 0.001. So we will get 0 0.035, then add the main scale reading and the vernier scale reading to get the total reading and repeat this procedure to get total reading for other uh, rings as well right side we have the total readings the next column is diameter so this is the ring and this is the cross wire at left side and this is the ring right side the difference of this two will give the diameter as well here we have the total reading for right side and total reading for left side the difference of this two will give the diameter so here i have calculated the diameter for each ring and then this is the diameter square so we have to square the diameter values 
and I got the diameter square. Then the last column is find the difference of diameter values. We have n plus 4th ring and this is the diameter square for nth ring and find difference of this two. So it will give you 0 0.0691 as well we have to find the difference of 4. Therefore n plus 6th ring minus n plus 2nd ring as well n plus 8th ring minus n plus 4th ring. So we will get three different values. So you have to find the average of this. So the average is here and this is the formula for wavelength. So lambda equal to this formula we have. So this value is 0 0.0681 and r is the radius of curvature. So it is 80 centimeter or 80 times 10 power minus 2 meter and substitute all the values here and you will get the wavelength of green light or lambda equal to 5320 angstrong. So in case if you have selected here the sodium light, so you will get here the lambda value as 5900 angstrong but in this case we have taken the green light so the lambda value is 5320 angstrong so depending upon the light source you have selected so you will get the different values so for yellow or the sodium light the lambda value is 5900 angstrong i hope this might be very useful for you guys thanks for watching